Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Gold Rush. Today I'm hoping to do a little bit more work just generally digging out some from the claim here. But we also have our wheel loader that we stuck in a pit last week. And I was thinking that it would be a good idea to try and bury it. A lot of people have said they would like to see me try to bury it. Now as far as I know, I don't think it's going to work very well. A few people have said that they think it's the, um, the fact that I've got it mapped to a controller that is causing the bucket to tilt over. However, it was doing this tilting over um, nonsense before I mapped it to the controller. That made no deal. I mapped it over because I was hoping that it would change it. So my next theory is that perhaps it's the wheel loader itself. It's not actually the control, uh, you know, the, the controller or the keyboard or anything like that. But it's in fact, because it's, you know, I've had the wheel loader for quite a while, it's an older version of it and the game has now been updated and stuff like that and so there is a very good chance that the actual wheel loader is an outdated version kind of like the wave table and how we had to buy a new one um so i'm kind of hoping that that's the case so what i'm thinking is rather than selling this one what we'll do is we will buy a new one we'll move this one over to uh two rivers is it two rivers river town I still can't remember. I get this wrong every time. Every single time. I can't remember. Uh, not Nighthawk. Uh, Rivertown. It's Rivertown. We we'll get that one moved over to Rivertown and we get the new one here and then we'll try that one. Because I have been told that it is literally two bucketfuls from a wheel loader to fill the dumper. If that is the case, it's considerably faster than using this beastie, which is 10 loads. Now, although two bucketfuls does seem like a bit hopeful, to be honest. Um, I'm not sure that we could actually do it in just two unless the like the quantities are seriously different to what they are at the moment um or what they used to be anyway i should say um so yes we, we've got a few things to try as for actually burying the wheel loader i'm not sure that's possible i think that if you go to tip on top of it it just sort of pushes the dirt underneath but we will track the excavator over a little bit later on and we will give that a go uh, however for now what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a little bit of digging with the excavator and we're going to do two loads with the dumper and take those back over to the wash plant, get these two loads running through, and then we can see. Um, someone did suggest last week that I don't just sit here and dig, and in fact, I try to move back towards where I was digging previously. And I like this idea, and what I'm thinking is that we'll actually bring the, we'll do two more loads out of here, and then we'll bring the bulldozer over, and we'll extend the road out a little bit longer, just sort of running along the front of the cliff. Now, I believe in mining, the term is actually a berm. If I got that, I'm not sure. I think it is. Um, so, yeah, I think that what we're making is called a berm, and if I'm, I'm hoping that I've got that right, and... Then we make that and then we sort of extend it out so that it, the road goes over where the excavator bucket is right now and keeps going further back. And we'll kind of push this right back towards the end of the claim. And then if we can head out that way, we've then, we, we kind of open up a whole load more area that we can keep digging in and keep things moving along quite nicely. At least, at least that's my plan. That's what I'm hoping is going to happen. So we'll just keep doing our digging. Um, just bring that one down in there and empty that one out. There we go. Um, and hopefully we find a good spot as well, because now that they have actually localised gold, you have some areas that have got really good pay dirt, and you've got other areas that you hardly get anything from. So you really are going... We really are going to start getting some variation with our loads. Some of them, we're going to get a massive amount going into the wash plant, and others is really not going to be very much at all. Um, you don't get a lot of magnetite from this particular system, whereas you do get a lot of magnetite coming out of the small portable wash plant. Um, however, the amount of gold that we get from doing it like this does seem to easily outweigh the lack of um magnetite that we get so i think that overall is kind of for time spent you do get good value for money if you do take into account that it's a finite amount that you've got here and once you've dug it all out you've got no more it might actually be better to use the small wash plant and generate all of the magnetite that you can out of the place as well However, that's, I don't think that's going to be something that we need to worry about for the playthrough because uh, I really can't see me having time to literally to dig out the entire map. I just, yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. Um, 
it might be nice, but yeah, I, I just can't see that happening, not at all. Um, so we'll continue on with this. How much more can I put in here? There we go, 100%. If I swing that one back round, I'll switch this one off while we move. And, right, we're in the wheel loader here. That one can stay there, in shame. And I'm thinking that what we'll do is I'll take two loads now with the dumper and take these back and stick them into the wash plant. And then we'll come over and we'll get the bulldozer and we'll try and shove a little bit more dirt into that hole with the bulldozer before I then get a load... I think I'll take the excavator over there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move the excavator over that way and we'll use that one to do the burying of the wheel loader. But I, like I said, I really don't think it works like that. I think what we'll end up, what it ends up doing is the dirt sort of teleports to underneath it and it just ends up lifting it out of the ground, which is a little bit disappointing. It would be quite nice if it would actually physically bury the machine and just be left there with just the arm, arm of the bucket sticking up above the ground. That would be absolutely fantastic. I would genuinely love it if we could do that. But yes, I, I, I can't see it happening. It's just, yeah. I, I think that is just too much to hope for. Never mind. Right, we'll load, lower that one back down. I think I'm going to actually start the engines up now. Um, and then they are... Everything will be clear by the time we come back with our second load. We'll start this one up here. We'll start that one. And that's all plugged in, ready to go. And then this one over here, plugged in, ready to go as well. They're all on like 80, 90% for fuel, so they're good for fuel. And let's whiz back over and get another load. Um, I am wondering what we should do next. Um, we can try burying the wheel loader over there, but I don't think we're going to do a great deal with that. Um, we can try, we, we've sort of tried messing around with magnetite and stuff like that, but we don't have any big updates planned anytime soon. So I'm kind of wondering what we should be doing now soon on this series. Um, I know that a lot of you do like the series. Bucket is full. Which bucket? Uh, have I got something not working over there? This isn't good. No, no, no. Keep moving. There, let's try jumping out of here. Um... Well, that's empty there. That's running. That's going. That's all going there. Bucket down. Whoa! 32% down the bottom. Okay, it's all running here, and that's all running, and then the the ore is empty. Um, unless it just ran it out through there a little bit too quickly. But look at that. Down here, jump down. 32% has come out. We've only we got like 10% on the mats and we've got 32% on these buckets under here. They did say that there was some rebalancing done, but I didn't realize it was like that much. It was a patch. It was a, a like a it was a, a quick uh, hot fix. Um and yeah, I knew that some things had changed, but that 32%. I reckon we must we surely must have struck some sort of pay dirt here for that. I I really can't see that that was all just from the the little lot that we put in. Um, or not, not well, not normal standards anyway. The last time we put in a load like that, we got like maybe 3%. I think we ended up with 32% on the bucket in total. That was it. There was no more than that. It was 32%. Um, yeah, that's the way that we want to go. Wheel loader and then this one. Right. Um, start that one up. Zoom out a little bit. And scoop up. Oop, nope, I'm going the wrong way. I see what I'm doing. There we go. Right. Pull that out. I've still spilt most of it. I don't know why I bothered doing that, to be honest. I've just spilt most of the stuff that I had in there because I've suddenly forgotten how to drive the X-Fair. I'm doing that thing again where I think about what buttons I should be pressing and then they don't work. It happens every time. Every time I try and do that, then it just stops working completely. My mind fails me. And... I can get that bit up there if I can just twist it round. As soon as you twist it, though, it drops the dirt comes straight out. There we go. And I can lift that out. Yeah, I think that's actually going to be okay like that. So I'd like some suggestions of what you think I should do because I'm not really sure you're going to want to just sit and watch me dig. And that's kind of... We've, d we've dug out a road now and we've sort of looked at a few other bits and pieces. I can get some more workers working on the claim and we can get some more claims. I could, you know, set up the Tier 3 stuff on a different claim. But again, it's... It is all stuff that we've already done. So what 
what would you like to see me doing? I need I need you to give me that in the comment section today. Is there any particular task you want to see me doing? Do you just want to see me? Do you just want to watch me do several episodes of just digging? Because you know that I know that is kind of like what the game is really all about. But I can't see that it's going to be that interesting to watch it. Um, so maybe I really I really don't know. I know that we do have some patches coming up, and there's going to be like loads of new stuff coming. Um, I do have this game that I've just recently gained access to called House Flipper, which is where we, um, we have a house. I mean, to start with, all we do, all we were doing was cleaning. But essentially, you have the house and you, um, you buy one and then you fix it up good for sale. So you do cleaning, uh, painting, and you replace, uh, damaged sockets and, uh, retile the bathroom, that sort of thing. So... I don't know, it's it's still in um, beta at the moment, so there's still a lot of work still to be done on it, but there's more stuff coming in at some point. We got that whole graphics glitch where you put dirt in a bucket, it goes really dark. Um, it's probably going to do that a few times now. Um, would you like me to, you know, do two episodes of this in a week and an episode or two of... Um, house flipper instead would would that be appealing to you uh, do you want me to stay doing this but try and do something else like open up the the last claim i mean we've kind of got a lot of stuff ready and we can we could get go and get a load more employees i could get a load more stuff we've got plenty of gold now if i take that over to the shop and i sell the gold that we've got and then we could order a load of extra stuff and we could set it we could have tier three at uh, Rivertown and we could also go and get um, the other claim the last claim was it pine pine valley something like that and we could get pine valley set up as I'm gonna have to look just look what is it it's it is pine valley I've got one right wow um pine we could get pine valley completely set up as well so we get one of everything at each of the claims and then you know we're at least sort of making some progress i'd feel like we're doing we are moving in the right direction then and it's giving you a little bit more variation um what do you want to see me do i'm gonna i, I need you to give me that one in the comments today because i'm kind of running out of ideas here we've made the road and i can't just sort of make and you know just keep making roads because Again, it's repetitive gameplay, and I don't want people to get bored with it. I don't want people to be absolutely fed up with watching this series, and so not watch the series. Um, I know that I still get quite a lot of views on these videos, so I must be doing something that appeals to you, but what is it? Is this what you want to see? Um, right, our next task, I think, uh, once we've emptied out this load, I'm, we're going to watch this one go through that plant. If we get the same kind of dirt go through it again i'm thinking i don't really want to go and tip a load of this underneath that wheel loader i'm thinking that's kind of a, a waste you know this this seems like valuable dirt so maybe we could move the other excavator the one that sat by all those tailings at the moment and we could put that one up by the uh wheel loader and we could use it to shovel in a little bit i know it's going to be a bit slower using that one but it still might work rather than tipping in a load with this one we'll see let's just tip that all out there and lower you back down again. We can just watch this go through a minute. I can just jump out. There we go. Right. Let's see what it's going to do down over here. It did say a uh, bucket full. I'm thinking that by bucket full it actually meant that one. Whether it sped the conveyor up a little bit or that what the wash plant is a bit slower. I'm not quite sure. But it's got everything going in. It's got water running in through. You can see the water there. And all the symbols are right. There's water coming in down here. That is at 46% down there already on those buckets underneath. It is a massive 50%. Bucket is full. Which bucket? I think it's that one up there. I think it's tipping too much in through there. And I need to be switching that one off. Unless it's something to do with the tailings. I don't think so. I think that's okay with the tailings. Um... Because the stuff, we're still getting this coming through. I got 63%. Wow. Okay. Uh, right. The dirt has now stopped up the top. And it's still flowing down through here. You can see that there is still dirt coming out of there. Oh, no. It's, I think that's just about finished now. So that one's emptied out. That's come down through. We've reached 63% on these, bu on these two buckets here. Um, 
you know what? We're, we'll leave the mats. I don't, I don't care about the mats. You don't get so much gold out of the mats. Um, or we haven't been getting as much gold out of the mats. So we're going to do one more load. I think we've got time in today's episode. Yes, we should have. Um, we will go and get one more load. And we're going to put it right. We're going to just carry on as this for this one. And where are we? Handbrake. There we go. We'll put one more load in. We'll get the dirt from the same place that we're getting it. And we'll bring it back. And then we'll get those two buckets, which will then be full. And we'll turn them straight into gold. Uh, well, we'll extract the ore from them. I'm really curious to see if we're going to get anything like what we have been getting from that. If we do, we've, like, hit the mother... We've, we've absolutely hit the mother load over here. We really have. This is fantastic. Right here, this, this one little spot right here, all of this work that we've done to kind of line the road up and get it right is all come together with this one little spot right here. And that way, and then do that again. Let, there we go. And into this one. So let's start up. And zoom out a little bit. There we go. I'd like to be able to zoom out just a tiny bit more, I think. Oh, well. This will be fine. So this is where we were getting the dirt from. I was kind of taking it... Actually, most of it was coming from this spot right here. It's just on this end of it. So this is where I'm going to dig this time. I've moved. I've, I'm pretty sure my excavator has moved just a fraction. I don't think I could reach that far just now. Maybe the light is going out because of all the gold in here. It's so heavy, the gold, in this bucket that it's actually... Um, yeah, it, it, the gravity of it has actually affected the sunlight. The gravity of the gold that we got in the bucket for the excavator is actually um, pulling the light towards it like a black hole does. And that is why it's going dark. It's because of the sheer weight and quantity of the gold that we've got in this load. That would be actually pretty cool. Um, somehow I don't think... <laughs> I just don't think that's the case, though. Um, it'll be okay. Right. I really don't know what is causing that. It's, it, it is a very strange glitch, the way that it goes dark. And it is only when we're digging, isn't it? It, it only seems to happen when we're digging and um, at, like, certain points. Most of the time, it doesn't do it. And then occasionally, you'll get one bucket full that seems to make everything go dark. I can pull that down there. Twist around. There we go. Another bit more. Is this load going to do it? Are we going to reach like almost 100% on the magnetite and everything? Something that else that they have done is they balanced it because people were getting with the wavetable. If you took a full bucket from the duplex jig and then you put it into the wavetable, you ended up... Oh, yep. See? This, this is, I reckon this has got a load of gold in it because it's, it's, um, like, like I said, it's bending, gra it's bending the light. The gravity is so strong, it's bending the light. <laughs> uh, I, I, you know, you never know. Um, but yeah, one of the balances that was done with the wavetable and magnetite separator was that apparently the buckets were, you tip one full bucket in and it was saying that the table was full, um, which, leads me to think that maybe you, know, you were wasting a little bit. So if you put a 100% bucket into the wavetable, it wasn't able to process it properly. So with that in mind, they changed it slightly so that you didn't have quite... I, I don't know if it was a smaller bucket or a bigger wavetable. It was one or the other, but they done some slight balancing to eliminate that issue. So we'll find out in a minute. Once we go and tip this load, we're going to empty out. We're only going to do the two buckets on the duplex jig. We're not going to worry about the mats because they're only, at, well, they're at 20 odd percent at the moment. So they'll only be like 30 percent. And it's actually quite a bit of work to take those and wash them out. So we're not going to worry about that. That's um, for later on when, when they're above 90 percent. I'm going to say that 90 percent is my minimum for cleaning out the mats. Um, because at present, it just doesn't seem to be worth the bother. Unless that was one of the other balancing things that they did, and I'm not actually aware of it. And if that's the case, then I've got this completely wrong. Right, last bucket full, and then we can go and tip this one out. And are we going to become absolutely stinking rich from one load? If we are, ideal. I can cope with that. And there we go. Bring that one back round. I'm going to put it right up like that as far as it will go. Actually, we can get quite a lot there just on the exit there right i just want to grab a little bit more i'm going to leave this one like this because we are going to be coming back to it later today so it's actually okay to leave it like that and go there wait for it to clear and then go in again right let's go head down the road 
this fantastic pay dirt that we've got. I do like the road. I, it was definitely worth the work. Definitely worth the work. It's nice, smooth, easy ride, straight through without any issues whatsoever. And then I can back up here. So yeah, I'm not really sure why it's doing this thing where it says bucket full. I'm certain that it's actually, it's just too much going into the shaker. So what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to back it up there. I'm going to tip this one right up. Empty it right out into the thingy again, into the conveyor. And then once this one's empty, we'll lower it down and we'll move it forward a little bit. And then we can park this one. Turn the lights off. And I'm going to then just stop the conveyor just for a moment. If I go to about there and stop again, turn the engine off. We won't be needing this one for probably not the rest of the day. We come up here. So that's on like 39%. Um... About 30 so let me just take that one off so that the the bucket conveyor is still oh it's still saying bucket is full the bucket conveyor is going so we don't want that one going I'll put that one back on and if I go over here actually I'll tell you what no it's saying, it's saying bucket full again so let me switch that one off completely there that might be a better way to do it let that run what's it got down there 84 percent this has still got some stuff in it. Come over. Stuck on that little hose. And back over again. We'll let that last little bit run down through. And we'll come down here. I've got some buckets ready to swap over. We've got two buckets here. 85. Yeah, see, the mats are only like 30%. I don't think it's worth doing the mats. But if you look closely, you can actually see little tiny bits of gold bouncing down through. There we go. Nice big chunk there. And 93%. There is still stuff going in the top. These are on 95%. Right, no, it's, it's finished up the top. It's on 95. Is it going to go higher than 95? That might actually be it. Uh, it does look like that's all of it. So let's go back up and we'll switch off. I can switch off the conveyors. I can just make sure that this is run everything out through. And it's still on 9. Yeah, it hasn't gone any higher for a moment. So we can... Switch you off for a second. And I'm not going to bother switching that one off. I'm going to switch this one off over here. Like that. And I'm just going to move this way. Grab you. Bring you back down here. Ooh, it's dropped it. Come here. Oh, I see what it's done. Got caught up a little bit. Drag it down here like this. And plug it into that one. And then I want to... Take that one, put it on there like that, and I'm going to unplug that one just because. Switch that on. That one's already on over there, so we've got the magnetite separator. Now that has got nothing in the gold bucket, and it's got 14% in the dirt bucket. So we're going to run down here, and we're going to grab these two buckets down here, both at 95% from three loads. That is just fantastic. That really is. Ooh, no, I don't want those two. Those are the two with water in they're ready for doing our next um, wash of the mats. So I'll take that one out as well. Put that one. Drag that over and put that one in there. So if I run this one up through and we can dump this one straight into the magnetite separator. And then while it's emptying out, I will run back down and grab the next one. So we got one. We got the magnetite on 14%. I actually take the bucket with me. I might be glad of this one down here. So we can run down here, and there we go. So we've got another bucket ready, and we get this one. And we can first of all see what our... You know, it would probably help if I turned it on, wouldn't it? Um, start. Let's see what that does. This one here, you don't actually get to switch it on and off here anymore. That doesn't seem to do anything. And, yeah. Okay, 18% now on... Oh, 19 Okay, so we've got 19 and we've got 89% for the gold. So I'll put that one over there a minute and get a new bucket put under. Grab that one and drop it in there while it's full. So that was on 19% and is it 89? Something like that. Which means that this one should in theory go up another 3 or 4, well 4 or 5%. So 24, 25% when it's finished. 25, 25% when that one's finished. So, yeah, we're not getting a lot of magnetite. There is still some magnetite coming out, though. So let me just put this one into here. 
And now the gold is really going to go up. And there is a way that we can find out exactly how much gold that we get from this. I will show you that one in a minute. And it's actually pretty cool. It's a new feature that they've added into the game. And I thought it was pretty good. Happened when I finished. Right, we definitely aren't getting as much gold now as we were. As the wave table has finished processing the soil. We didn't get as much from that as we have done previously. So they've obviously rebalanced it ever so slightly to give you, I guess, so you've got to sort of process more buckets. One, one, three, six point four at the moment, um, allowing for the workers to do their little bit anyway. Uh, one, three, seven. Yeah, we last time from the buckets from under the duplex jig, you ended up getting like um, 20 ounces of gold. Or, well, eight or nine ounces of gold anyway. So it looks like we got just under three ounces from that one. And that one's done. Okay. Um... I'm going to stop that one a minute. So what I'm going to do now is if I switch that one off and I will switch that one off, I will plug that one back in there. I will take this one here and I will plug it back in. Oop. Plug it in there and in there. I accidentally coiled it right up. I didn't mean to do that. And then we grab that one and we bring it back up here. If I just pull it out straight a minute. There we go. Uh over here if I can get round go on a little bit closer there we go right so that one's all hooked back up and it's 11 o'clock I know it's the middle of the day but we're still going to do this we're going to go here and we're going to sleep now until dawn so it is now dawn it's 164 ounces of gold so here we gold gathered by workers in the past 24 hours is 34 ounces or 34.7 ounces workers salary 3,400 and um, processed soil 42 now i don't know what that 42 what i'm not sure earned gold 5.7 ounces paid loan 5,000. so we've paid off some of the loan and um, we got 5.7 ounces so we got about two and a half ounces uh well two and three quarter ounces from each of the two buckets down there so it wasn't as much as we have done previously we got 30 percent on each of the mats so we're getting a little bit over just we're 30 to 33 percent so we get a little fraction over 10 percent on each of the mats so nine dumper loads is going to be needed to fill up the mats whereas three dumper loads fills the bucket so processing the buckets is going to take longer now what from now on what you're going to end up doing is we're going to have more buckets accumulating down there to sort of pile them all up um that's fine we can live with that and Right, I've got everything here. I'm thinking that what we'll do next is we'll go and we'll get the... I'm going to move that excavator over a little bit. And I want to get the, um, the bulldozer. And we want to start cutting this berm all the way along. And so we're basically just going to extend the road out a little bit. And what I'm thinking is we're going to sort of start heading back that way. Um, so I'd kind of like the bulldozer to sort of push this way a little bit fill in some of these bumps and stuff down here and hopefully fill in some of that area there i'm hoping that it's going to work and then we can also maybe try and um bury that um what do you call it at the same time the, the wheel loader yeah we can also try and bury that one at the same time um so if i start this one up and i'm actually going to bring this bucket full and i'm going to tip it right over here because it would actually be more useful to me i can use that as part of the road if I tip that there, we'll then be able to use that later. So I can bring this one back up round. There we go. And like that. Now, which way do I want to go? Uh, there, that, like that. So I'm going to just bring this one back a minute. I'm going to leave that one right there. Turn that one off. And I'm going to turn the lights off as well. Right, bulldozer next. Not that one. I, go, I think I need to go the other way. I go there and then... Oh, that's to the small excavator. I don't want to use that one at the moment. And then to the car. And then... Here we go. Bulldozer. Right. Come out. And come out. So, yeah, we've got a road going this way. So, we could sort of extend this road going out around that side. I don't really want to do that at the moment, though. What I'd like to do is... I'm going to bring this one up. And we've the blade's already lifted as high as it will go. So if I can go like that, and I can back out of here, then I'll bring the bulldozer right back over this way. 
like that, and then I want to start pushing it this way. So what I want to do is I want to basically just extend a road in a straight line, roughly where I am right now, actually. Um, so we'll turn these lights on. There we go. Lower that one down as low as it will go, and then let go so that I'm just bulldozing dead flat. That's the plan here. Is we just want to we just want to go dead flat. We don't want to do anything fancy. Nothing else. Nothing. Um, too shiny on this. We just want to go straight forward. Ooh. My mouse is very peculiar at the moment. Um, although apparently it is a bit of a fault with the particular mouse that I've got. Um, it scrolls the wrong direction. Which is very, very disconcerting at times. Um, it's a... Yeah, I'm just going to look now. A Logitech G403. And I'm normally... I use Logitech just about everything. And you normally you can't fault them. But these this particular mouse that they've made, for some reason, there's a mechanical failure on it. So it ends up scrolling in the wrong direction. Which is a real nuisance at times. Most of the time, it's just kind of... It's, you know, a, a slight inconvenience. Right, I don't think I can actually go any further. I think it's kind of, it's, it doesn't like me to, it doesn't want me to go any further than this. So if I can just bring a little half slice into the side of the bank there. Only need to just go in a little bit there like that. Ah, uh, yeah. I think I am actually deleting a load of dirt here. Now, the, the, more, I, the more I do this, the more I, the more I sort of think about it, the more I'm fairly certain that we are deleting a good chunk of something here at least. Because it doesn't look like it's pushing it forward properly. Um, but if I... Yeah, I've got it wide enough now, I think, that I can safely get back there with the... Um, the wheel... Not the wheel loader. With the dumper. Just straighten out that little bit down through there. If I can... Oh, there we go. Right. It's... I am sort of dipping down a little bit there. So it's not brilliant. But we are getting through there. And if I can just push that bit around as well that might actually help straighten some of this out more Come up that way there we go push it up just a bit more there we go now we're talking I'm sort of filling in this little gap back here as well that's kind of what that's what I want to do I wanted to be able to get the um, dumper right back round this corner if I can go on just a bit more push a piece there yep perfect Come back there, and then I just got a little slice up through there so that we can get the dumper right back into this corner. Excellent. I think that's actually going to be fine. I think that is going to be just perfect, just as it is. So I can... Actually, I'm going to lift this one up now. And if I bring this one right back, there's a slight little lump right there, which I'm going to actually push forward, and then hopefully we can just fill in. There's a little piece that I want to fill in. So if I stop there... Lower the blade and see that little sort of corner there that I, I'd like to fill that in if I can. Is it going to let me do it? Doesn't look like it. It doesn't want me to fill that bit in very well. Okay, I think we're going to have to go with that. We'll, we'll just stick with that. We can't, um, we can't overdo it because we'll end up making a horrible mistake and then it's all going to be... Um, all of this work is going to be ruined. It only takes one false button push somewhere and everything we've done will be utterly destroyed and I really don't want that to happen so let's come back over this way this is a bit of a disappointment I think for not just me but for a lot of other people and you can see it's pushing underneath the wheel loader it's not actually shoving it under the ground we're not going to be able to end up with the wheel loader stuck pushing up above the ground and that is a bit disappointing I think it would be actually really, really cool if we could if we could just leave this so that the wheel loader was sat there and you couldn't see any of it. You just had though the bucket sticking up above the ground. That would be absolutely awesome, but I don't think we're going to be able to do that. So let me just stop this one here and turn it off. Park brake on. I think we can leave. Yeah, we can leave it there, and it's not going to be in the way. We can. We've still got room to turn round, and then we can back all the way up that bank. So the next thing I want to do. Is whether I want to get the big... I'm, I'm going to need to move the big excavator quite a way anyway. So let me just jump out a second. And we can just track it back this way first. Because, yeah, I've got a... If I'm taking the wheel loader all the way over here, the plan is I'm going to bring the wheel loader up to here. 
and there's my timer going off wheel loader will get to that point there and then the excavator can sit actually i can start this excavator sitting over here and i can excavate a big chunk there then i can back it over here and i can excavate a big chunk over there and basically i'll be able to just sort of work my way around the corner and i'll be able to get quite a lot in so we'll be able to do several loads there before we got to move again and extend the road out any further um, so let me start up and we'll change to this view here um, handbrake off and now I just want to spin on the spot and we'll take this one right over to the wheel loader it shouldn't actually take very long to get over there so I can get over there and we can try just sticking a couple of loads empty them out right above the wheel loader and we can really test out what it's going to do is it going to allow us to do this or is it going to sort of say nope this isn't happening you are it's just going to lift it up right let's see what we can do i've put it here and i've parked it if i just i'm going to just scoop a bucket full it's fairly close to it and then we're going to dump that right on top of the excavator we'll we'll just scrape some of the um top off here and where do we bring this out yeah see if i go lower it down it sort of ends up that you can't quite see what you're doing with it and i can't zoom out i think that's probably as close as we're going to get because I can't zoom down any lower I think that actually the best way is going to be like this if I can lift it up in the air like this bring that in tip it on top what's it going to do uh, it is it's lifting it up that's it that is disappointing I mean I to be fair I did expect it to be f so you know it's nothing that we weren't expecting it's nothing that we weren't expecting here but at the same time, it is still a little bit disappointing that it still it won't do that. So we can tip it on top there, but no, it's definitely lifting. It's slowly, slowly um, levering it up out of the ground. So that's all it's going to end up doing. Let me just... Hang on. I want to lift that one up like that. Bring that back round here. I'm facing backwards at the moment, so I'm going to have to straighten up. And... Right, let's go. I'm going to take take this one back round so that it is ready for next episode so that we can start doing a little bit of digging up at that end um so yes if there's anything you in particular that you would like me to try in a series now then please let me know we have tried burying that one briefly um and yeah i, I kind of like some ideas for different things that you want me to do um in order to keep this series interesting um if you enjoyed this particular episode, then please head down below and give me a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. But until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.